Welcome to tutorial on Bailey Bridge. The Bailey Bridge is a through-type truss bridge, the roadway beam, carried between two main girders. The trusses in each girder are formed by 10 feet panels pinned end to end. In this respect, the Bailey Bridge is often referred to as the panel or truss bridge. We will look into the parts of Bailey Bridge, the following are Bailey Bridge parts. 1. Panel. The panel is the basic member of the bridge. It is a welded, high tensile steel truss section 10 feet long, 5 feet 1 inch high, and 6 half a inches wide. 2. Transom. The transom is a steel beam that supports the floor system of the bridge. It is 10 inches by 19 feet 11 inches long. It has a 4 half a inches flange and a 5 16 of inches cover plate on each flange. 3. Transom clamp. The transom clamp is a hinge screw in type clamp, 13 half a inches high and 8 inches across the top. It clamps the transom to the vertical and bottom cord of the panel. It is tightened by a vise handled screw. 4. Sway brace. The sway brace is a 1 and 8 of inches steel rod, hinged at the center and adjusted by a turnbuckle. The sway brace is given the proper tension by inserting the tail of an erection wrench in the turnbuckle and screwing it tight. Number 5. Raker. The raker is a 3 inches steel beam with a 2 3 8 of an inches flange. A raker connects the ends of the transom to the top of one end of each panel of the inner truss. This prevents the panels from overturning. 6. Bracing frame. The bracing frame is a rectangular frame, 4 feet 3 inches by 1 foot 8 inches with a hollow conical dowel in each comer. The bracing frame is used to brace the inner two trusses on each side of the double and triple truss bridge. 7. Bracing bolt. A bracing bolt is 3 quarters of inches in diameter, 3 half a inches long, and weighs about 1 pound. The bracing bolt is used to attach rakers, bracing frames, and tie plates to panels. 8. Cord bolt. A cord bolt is 1 3 quarters of inches in diameter, 10 half a inches long, and weighs 7 half pounds. It is tapered through half its length to assist in drawing the panels into alignment. Cord bolts join the panels, one above the other, to form double and triple story bridges. 9. End posts. End posts are used on both ends of each truss of the bridge to take the vertical shear. They are placed only on the story carrying the decking. There are two types, male and female, having male and female lugs, respectively. These lugs are secured to the end panels of the bridge by panel pins placed through holes in the lugs. End posts have a step to support a transom outside the panel at one end of the bridge. The lower end of the end post has a bearing block with a semicircular groove which fits over the bearing. 10. Bearings. The bearing spreads the load of the bridge to the base plate. A bearing is a welded steel assembly containing a round bar which, when the bridge is completed, supports the bearing blocks of the end posts. One bearing is used at each corner of a single truss bridge and two bearings per corner for a double or triple truss bridge. 11. Base plate. The base plate's a welded steel assembly with built-up sides and lifting hook eyes on the top at each corner. It is used under the bearings to spread the load from the bearings over the ground. It has large enough space in which the bearings can slide 9 inches longitudinally on the base plate. 12. Panel pin. The panel pin is 8 5 16 of an inches long, 1 7 8 of an inches in diameter, and weighs 6 pounds. It has a tapered end with a small hole for a retainer clip. A groove is cut across the head of the panel pin parallel to the bridge pin retainer hole. Panel pins should be inserted with the groove horizontal, otherwise, the flanges of the panel cord channels make it difficult to insert the retainer clip. 13. Deck. Deck or decking is done on transom, clamping with the help of its clamp, which forms road surface. Now we will be looking to the equipments required for erection of Bailey Bridge. The equipments required for launching are as follows. One, rocking roller. The rollers distribute the bridge load along the bottom cord during launching. The maximum allowable load on one rocking roller is 30 tons. Plane roller. The plane roller is two feet one half inches wide and weighs 116 pounds. The maximum allowable load on one roller is 10 tons. Plane rollers are placed behind the rocking rollers at intervals of 25 feet to support the bridge during construction. The number of rollers in each row depends on the type of bridge. Jack. The jack is used to lift the bridge on and off the rocking rollers. It is a mechanical lifting jack. It has a lifting range of 15 inches and a capacity on the top of 15 tons. When the weight is carried on its toe, its capacity is only 7 half tons. Where jacks are lifting at the same point, all jacks used must have the same tooth pitch so they can be operated in unison. The jack weighs 128 pounds. Wrenches. The wrenches are used for tightening the clamps and the wrenches needed for launching in the bridge are as shown. Thank you for watching.